Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I sat and listened today, and a lot of questions arise and concern. The bill is probably the most important bill that I will vote on this session. Some people will say, with the exception of budgets. I don't even know if that's necessarily true. The concern I have is who is being held responsible at the end of the day. Churches are owned by the parishioners, not the priests, not the ministers, not the pastors. They are there to serve us, and in the past, and some in the present have done a real poor job of it. I also, my understanding is going back, sovereign immunity is still in place, it's just going forward that it's not. So government is off the hook looking back. At the end of the day, there's an unequal bounce here when it comes to that. We are going to see a lot of people, who did we at the end of the day, make responsible for this? Is it every individual member of each church, every individual member of each parish and archdiocese? If that is the case, I hope the Senate will fix this bill because, again, I believe it lies on those who did these heinous acts. They need to be held accountable, those individuals, those who covered it up, need to be held accountable. But the, the, what I call the flock does not need to be held accountable. And I hope that that is fixed. I am going to support this bill today because ultimately it is the right thing to do. But again, it is a very difficult decision because we're hurting, million, potentially, hurting millions of people across Pennsylvania if there's a ripple effect. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.